Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our some assembly required campaign in Factorio with CJ. How's it going, CJ? I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. Are you laughing at me? You laughing yeah. at me? <laughs> He's laughing because I, I, started the, I started the countdown and I don't know why. I was thinking to myself, okay, self, when you get to two, you need to start the recording because there's like a half second delay and there's going to be some silence and you you know, that's how it works. So I, I started the countdown and I say, okay, live in five, two... Um, <laughs> I just oh man, I remember skipped, that fucking cat. Skipped right to two. It was bad. Uh, I've done some stuff with people who like count down to one, and it's like you're, you're completely missing the fucking point. You might as well just say go. <laughs> yeah, no, the whole point is that like like the way we do it, it's it's what I would imagine is the way that a lot of like news stations and stuff do like countdowns to live audio like live interview like yep. the whole Just point the, is you have a silent this, countdown this at, the, at the end so yeah like um it's it's internal two, two and one are done with signs as opposed to um like actually spoken so that it doesn't come over in the recording yeah it's pretty much the same way that uh we used to do it on the radio station like when i was recording radio it was mm -hmm. it was done with like a live five four three and your headset and then the two one was on the screen yeah so no no wonder you and i never I mean, until now we've never even talked about it it just makes sense that's yeah. what we do but um it's funny because some of the people i'll record with i have to explain to them like okay we're gonna count from five why are we talking about this this is not factor let's talk about something else but anyway Factorio. It, it's just like I don't know. <laughs> people like the background stuff yeah like mm -hmm. that, i think i think that's interesting to people it's Did interesting you, to me so they changed the brick icon the, the, yeah, yeah, they did. I'm not not sure about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's let's try starting with a four path, and then you said you really want to put belts on here. I don't even know if the belts are necessary. Like, yeah, probably not. Like I says, I done it in um, in Bob's mods because I didn't have power armor at the time, and the belts are just so fucking quick. It's like a highway to the danger zone. Really? Yeah. You, want, you want to go there? <laughs> oh, hey, I can get rid of all these iron pickaxes. That's nice. Yay. Uh, oh, we still don't have blue signs. Uh, yeah, no. What are, you, what are you working on now? I think we should do probably, like, advanced electronics. It's just a good research to knock out, you know? Okay, one of these days, C. Joe, one of these days, what, we're going to have what? to actually get this, this main bus thing that you keep saying we're making to do some work. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So... Are you going to do belts, or do you want me just to do them? If you really want to do your your little layout, <laughs> go ahead and do it. But my my plan, the, I think what you should do is adjust it and pull belts off the bus. Rather than just siphoning just crap tons of iron. You pull know. belts off the Bus? Sorry, gears is what I meant. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fine. Because normally you make your gears locally with your layout, right? Yep. And you have like 17 gear factories to support your belt your belt assembly. Yeah, well, it's, it's down to three now. Like, I only use three gear factories now. I swear, the first iteration had like so many. Five. There were so many gear factories. I had five, yeah. Okay, so let's see. I'm, what I'm considering right now is just making uh, like one of these smelting columns go directly into a gear assembly and then just turn all of that iron into gears versus pulling iron off of bus to make gears. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. There's no point putting it on the bus to take it off the bus to put it back on the bus. My thoughts exactly. So here's what I really like about this. Uh, well, with 10 it might not work out, but with 8 it works out perfectly. Now that we have the bigger electric poles, uh, let me make some of those. Check this out, Stijo. I'm checking. Do that. Magical. It's just it's fantastic. One, like it's just one of them, damn near powers. Like three, I think three can power two rows. Or well, in this case, nine. Nine big electric poles powers like three rows, roughly. Or maybe it's yeah. four power 
Bree? I'm not sure. Let's figure it out. <laughs> when when does the pattern need to get repeated here? Fucking trees are in my way. How far away from the combat shotgun? Hey CJ, by the way, good job messing up all these furnaces. Yeah, you're welcome. Did I fuck them all up? Yeah, you fucked them all up. Yay! I thought they were fine. No. Oh, oh, no, no, yep, I fucked them up. <laughs> yeah, you fucked, you, you really fucked them all up. I was like, I'm like, like, when is this pattern gonna get iterated? Like, when do I get to update it? And no. No. <laughs> Stejo. Stejo's <laughs> present, so. Uh, that's funny. I wonder how many people got really pissed off. <laughs> I can tell you this. Fucking thing got wrong, man! <laughs> what the hell? You're, you're like, I'm just gonna put down all these furnaces so that we're ready for the future. Good job. <laughs> hey, at least I have a steel tool now so I can take them up pretty quick, but... I need, uh... I need these gears getting done, man. What's, what's the hold up? It's the furnaces is the hold up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna get started on it. Um, uh, one, two. Doing okay on fuel. We're uh, we're gonna tap this iron deposit here pretty heavy soon. We're gonna need to bring iron in from another location, I think. Unless you, do you want to do like um like like really tap the the iron hard like right now we're we're going pretty light on it we're spacing them out you know but we could just do all of them right on top of each other uh, I prefer to to leave a bit of space but that's because I'm lazy you like the deposits to last longer and then just go obtain more yeah versus yeah I feel like if you do if you do it the other way you probably usually end up in a position where you have to, um... Words? Yes. You, you need the same amount of iron regardless. Like, actual in-the-ground iron. So, I just prefer to... I don't know. It, it doesn't make an awful lot of difference in the grand scheme of things. I, I think what I was trying to say before I, like, words, is that, uh, you end up in a position where you're just spending all of your time going out to get new mines. Because you mine them so fast that you can't... Yeah, but at the same time, you're going to need that amount of iron anyway, so... Like, regardless of what way you do it, you're still going to need the same amount of iron. Make sense? Yes. Si. Si, senor. Hey, technology. Stone walls. Uh, how about advanced material processing? Wait, no, not that one. You already did- Oh, you already have steel furnaces unlocked. Well, I already started this one, okay. so I guess, I guess we're doing this one. Okay, well, gears are almost being made soon-ish. I need to remember that we've got fast inserters to stop using the, the cruddy ones. It's kind of sad that fast inserters are like just the fastest that you get. Yeah, well, they're they're they they like to think that they're fast, but they're not they're not that fast. They may be fast, but they're not express. There we go. Imagine how much slower we would be going if we didn't have a uh, long reach. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're not we're not winning any awards with this uh, <laughs> this session, but that's okay. Yeah, well, we do we did say at the start that we were gonna take our, take time. our time. Yeah, for me, for me, like, okay, so people might wonder, like, why are you guys doing this campaign in the first place? 
this all came about because Teacher and I were just like having hanging out, having a chat last week, and we we're both talking about how Factorio is fun, and then we we're both like, "Hey, do you play Factorio again?" I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's the entirety. That's, that's yeah. the entirety of the planning that went into this session, and then we and spent like, well, thirty what are we minutes. Gonna do? <laughs> Build a factory. <laughs> Just yeah, have a fun. big one. Okay, so got another iron line online, and okay, so let's see how many. Um, I've got eight. Do some do some math for me. Do you have one of those? Do you use the, one of those programs that like calculates ratios and stuff for you? Uh, not anymore, but yeah, like I could. <laughs> I've got eight I electric furnaces. I know I have enough smelting for that. Because I've, okay. got, I've got ten furnaces. I've got twenty, actually. Which is way, way more than we need. Um, but eight... How many um, gear factories do I need for eight smelters? Eight, eight electric furnaces. Level two assembly machines. To convert them into gears. Uh, graphing speed of one, three point five. That's seven... It's probably just two, right? Uh, three, th three and a half per steel furnace. Uh, three and a half per iron plate. Oh my god! Words, math. I know it's tough. Yeah, so you need seven, seven seconds. For one gear? Let's just do two. Time. Let's just do two and see what happens. How's that sound? Okay. You need 14... 14 smelters will supply... one. So that is 0.75. So you're looking at, like, 11 smelters to supply one of them. 11 smelters. You've got 10 on each side, so yeah, two. Right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, right. just went, yeah, let's do two and leave it at that. Let's do two and see what happens. No, but but yeah. see, I have ten on each side, but I, again, I, I the question, you see, I think you lost the original question. The original question is, I have eight, this is a dedicated iron line. It's eight uh -huh. smelter, or sorry, eight, eight electronic uh, mining drills. Oh, okay. So, so that's going to produce a fixed amount of iron. And yes. the question was, how many level two assembly machines do I need to turn eight electric mining drills worth of iron into gears. And I think the answer is two. I think two is going to be plenty. Sixteen. Uh, two is going to be too little. Like, uh, it'll be... Uh, no, no, wait. Yeah, two is plenty. Two is plenty. Sorry, my bad. Yes, two is wow. plenty. Wow, okay. We're really taking our time, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, math. There's your gears. Yeah, thanks. Dedicated gear line. Dedicated lines, good, bad? I mean, what do you think? Uh, I'm sure. Like, it's, it's helping me so I don't need to place a load of stuff here, so, yeah. I but mean, awesome. it kind of maybe defeats the purpose of a bus, doesn't it, to make dedicated lines, but... The whole idea behind a bus is that... Particularly. It... it if, if one area is not using it, other areas can use it. Isn't that, like, the, the central idea behind it? Yeah, exactly. So maybe I should line get this iron to connect in after the gears, so that if the gears aren't being made for some reason, that the iron doesn't just stop. Make sense? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna change my layout. Because otherwise that smelting is wasted if the iron's not getting used, but if the iron's needed somewhere else. But yeah. then, at the end of the day, we're gonna be using Each one of these lines is probably going to have a dedicated smelting area for it, so it's not really going to be that bad. Well, yeah, you, you, you toil. I'll toil? Excuse me? Yeah. Toil. You want me to toil away now? Yep. Yeah, uh, the new hat from Smashing Pumpkins. Oh yeah, medium electric poles. Sweet! Hey, advanced material processing is finished. 
Uh, let's just get logistics too. Oh, we don't have steel being made yet. This is true. Oh my god. We're making uh, 1300 PUs of pollution. Okay, so, yeah, what's a, uh, it's a PU, it's a pollution unit, right? Okay, so if we're gonna do it this way, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do overkill on the gear making, so that all iron that's coming to the dedicated gear production area should be used, and the only way that it gets through is if there are, if the gears are backed up. Okay. So, make sense? Yes. Of course it makes sense, right? You're like, shut up, You're not, I'm not an idiot. Of course it's logical. Yeah, I was, I was definitely listening to what you were saying. So you're saying you weren't listening to me? Well, Yeah, I was listening! I just said that, I just said I was listening. Yeah, well now I don't believe you. Yes. <laughs> when, in, when in doubt, just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Right. There we go. We've got belts being made. And you just... There we are. Fabulous. Alright, I'm gonna just sit here for a second and watch this. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna consume the entire iron. I hope. Yep, we're good. So four... Two, two is maybe enough, I'm not, I don't know. Four is definitely enough, because now no iron is getting through this line. So if, hey. if, if gears need to be made, all of this iron goes to gears, which is good. Okay. Oh, hey, okay. we can research automobilism. But clearly we need that. Alright, how about, um, how about some steel? For sure, yeah. Those undergrounds. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to work this through in my head. Yeah, I realized just a second ago we were probably both quiet for a little while. So we were both doing yeah. the same thing. This happens normally when we played like the, a mass campaign. There's enough of us, and Avec can can fill dead air forever. <laughs> I hit pretty well, yeah. <laughs> so, but normally there's someone talking at all times. But in this case, I think we were both just like totally focused on what we were doing. Yeah, pretty much. Which, honestly, um, I've watched some other people play Factorio, and, uh, like, like some of the smaller channels that, like, it's like the only thing they do is play Factorio, and they're really good at the game, but they, they mostly just play the game, they don't talk much, you know? Yeah, I think, I think there's something to be said about the, the stigma about YouTube that you need to constantly be blabbering on about stuff, and it's like, well, if it's not adding anything, then you don't need to bother. True. If you try to work through something, you bet you might as well get it done properly than keep talking about stuff and like fuck it up. Says the person who fucks up constantly. I'm gonna bleed off some of the iron, the uh, primary iron line. Alright. Because uh, the sorry the iron ore because it's not all being used right now. I'm gonna send it to gears. Yeah, and actually, actually, now that I've burnt through the backlog, I was right, and two gear factories is pretty much enough. Yeah, it was just a slight bit getting through. Yeah. So, I'm gonna probably need to put a load balance here, here. Just to kind of guarantee that it comes out evenly. I like that load balancers don't mess with your throughput anymore. 
Oh Go gosh, it. it's amazing. I, like doing the whole like I need a red hidden, red red belt on the corners thing. I, oh that was God. the best change they've made, I think. Yeah, just uh, in a long time. Belts. Mm -hmm. And I, I get like from a physics standpoint, what they did kind of doesn't make sense. You know, like because it. Yeah. Like you should probably lose throughput, but from a like fun factor and like gameplay standpoint, it's just way better this way. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it is a game that we're playing. Surprisingly. Wait, what? Although some people seem to forget that. No, this is my my job. <laughs> this is life. In some ways, it is my job. So, there's, this yeah. is a true statement. Alright, so, how are you doing on that uh, that thing that I said I didn't want you to build, but now I wish you built? Yeah, we're pretty much done, man. Like, we've got the regular belts and undergrounds. We don't have splitters yet, because we need circuits. But other than that... Like, Excellent, because I'm tired of making stuff out of my pocket. Okay, cool. Well, uh... Should be done soon as well. About that time, eh? Yep. Okay. About that time, eh? Well, we'll, uh, we'll take a break here. We'll see you again same time, place, same place tomorrow. Words, 5, 2... YouTube! 4, 3, 2, 1. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.